this is our initial preliminary test. I've taken apart the sound uh, bar. This is a Vizio SB300 series, I believe. Um, you may be able to pick up that high-pitched noise. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer. So I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. So what I'm going to do, um, I've already actually unplugged all the speakers um, from the main board here. And let me turn that the other way around. So, oh, really the only thing that could be making the sound, um, and it's a high pitch. So if you're familiar at all with the electronics, it's not going to be uh, a super mystery uh, because it's literally either A, <laughs> the main board uh, with a little bit of amplifier, uh, higher power modulation here, or the actual power um, um, circuit itself. And, and they've clearly kept it isolated due to the uh, electrical noise. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got my multimeter over there. I'm going to plug that into this guy when it's on and figure out what the uh, what the voltage is. Uh, and then I'm going to reproduce that voltage with my um, other power supply. So that way I'll take this out of the equation. If I'm still hearing the high pitch after that, the noise is coming from here. Okay, so I've connected the... Uh, new power supply, my external power supply, to uh, the sound bar. Obviously made sure we've got the correct polarity, which is positive on the top, negative on the bottom. Uh, it takes DC input, and we have uh, my power supply here um, from Agilent. So I've already programmed it, so I should be able to turn the power on. I'm at 24 volts and clearly not drawing a lot of amperages here. Now, Instantly, again, I don't know if you can hear, but I'm absolutely hearing that high pitch sound. So it is not the power supply, which is kind of unfortunate because easier to replace, probably a lot cheaper, and it's like three components, you know, that are really would fail on this. Pressure, apply on these coils in the center of these inductors and see if I could hear a distinctive difference in the high pitch frequency. Um, if they're loose or they're vibrating inside there, which inductors can do, that might be what's causing the issue. So I went ahead and pressed quite hard on them. I mean, really pressing hard. And I didn't hear anything um, particularly different. And so you got these kind of four quad over here to the very right. And then you got this one here that's marked 330. Now this guy here doesn't have that epoxy in the center. It's not even centered. So it's a little odd why, why they would kind of take the care and put these higher quality to the right. And this one just seems like a little bit lower uh, manufactured. At any rate, um, one of the other things that I did was I have my screwdriver here and it's magnetic. And uh, magnetic fields uh, do affect how these... Uh, inductors operate. So I uh, put my uh, screwdriver just carefully over it and I hope you can pick that up but there isn't much of a difference in sound. I don't hear any any discernible difference. However when I put it over this 330 there's gonna be a huge difference and I'm, I'm really hoping that this camera um, can pick up that sound. Okay, after some measurements uh, for the inductor, um, I've got my notes here. And from what I've discovered, uh, it should be right around 33 microhenries. And I uh, measured it with my oscilloscope and function generator, and I'm getting 3.989 microhenries. So this tells me that there's definitely an issue with it. So I found what I think is a close one. Um, I took the uh, inductor from here, and this is a Cisco AP unit. So, <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I've soldered that one. Do 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 do. Waiting for a focus. There we go. I've soldered that one uh, on here. So, gonna go ahead and give it a whirl and see if we hear that high pitched noise.
I don't hear anything. It's uh, drawing a little bit more amperage um, than it was prior. So we're still at 24 volts, but it was, uh, I believe it was at 16 milliamps, if memory serves me right. And, uh, no noise at all. It's beautiful. I'm gonna... So as you see, there's no noise coming from this. So I'm going to uh, put this uh, into its <laughs> carcass and uh, power it up. We'll see where we are from there. Okay, so I've got this thing put back together 100% and uh, the cloth is not visible because I took it off trying to dismantle this th thing. Uh, it was just, just incredibly hard. And you had to break a couple of tabs and I thought these were screws. So anyway, I damaged it. That's okay. I can always hide it underneath a TV or something. So uh, I can't test it because I'm on the phone and you can't record and Bluetooth at the same time. So we'll just do it electrical engineering style. So I've got my function generator here. Let's put a, by default, one kilohertz signal in here, as you can hear. And, uh, Gonna have a little bit of fun here to test in this baby. So let's change the amplitude to be uh, half a volt. And obviously, you can hear that it's much louder. And um, we can play with the frequency quite a bit. And uh, maybe go lower at first. hertz you can step down by 10 90 Ooh, someone found the resonant frequency of my bench <laughs> things shaking that's 80 hertz 70 that's 60 hertz that's uh same cycle as ac and then it gets pretty quiet after around 10 hertz and uh just for fun we can also do a sweep here it basically sweeps from uh low to high frequency as a test. Here we go. So, it works. Visio, put better components. Um, predictable failure, I think so. But this works fantastic. It doesn't shut off when I'm using it. And uh, we're good. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments. Otherwise, have a great Thanksgiving, because that's what I'm doing Right now. <laughs> Bye.